Yeah, that becomes, uh, as I said, my previous case or interaction shooting. So what happens? Because it has to be something that everyone, everyone, everyone agrees with it. If you ask everyone, you say, harassment and abuse is very bad. Everyone will agree with it. But if it happens, how do we deal with it? And that's why a lot of awareness now is on safeguarding to everyone. So if, if I'm in a federation where a coach has been accused, the federation can hand, needs to handle it. If not, then what extra steps do we have? And you can just put a star on that, Maurice, because it's something you can pick up with after this in terms of what happens, like for that case, because I know the coach is still there. Hmm? It's a bit. Um, there are so many things I did not know, uh, such as um, the Athletes 365 program that offers quite much to athletes, and that is something that I would wish um, to pass on to my fellow athletes, the opportunities that, uh, that are therein. Um, about anti-doping, there are so many things I still didn't know, that, uh, such as um, using of supplements, uh, things that we think are all right, also over-the-counter drugs like uh, the maramojas that we use are not so safe for us athletes because they may be containing some levels of dopamine that, that is not allowed um, in competition. Financial management that is very important to us athletes because sometimes there is um, the finances we expect and sometimes that finances does not come through or it's way less than what we expect or way more than what we expect. So we need to know how to manage those uh, financial expectation and also the finances themselves. Also, I've learned about social media and I've learned today that it is not all bad. You know, we've been told time and again that social media um, oversharing is really bad. Well, there's um, nothing really as oversharing. If you're really um, confident and passionate about what you're doing, you're supposed to put it out there so that you remain relevant. Also making yourself a brand, creating a brand for yourself. Humbling experience, honestly, to meet Humphrey. This is my first time. I've always seen him on television. And these are people that we envy, people that we look up to, people that we want to be when they leave those spaces. We want to occupy those spaces and maybe become bigger. And they are there mentoring us and also showing us and helping us, actually offering us a, a hand to hold. They are ready to work with us. I appreciate Nock for thinking about us athletes. That goes to show just how much they appreciate us. This is a very good, it's, it's actually a great move uh, for Nock to partner with Shiromo because uh, there are so many issues that athletes go through. Some that we can voice, some that we do not even know how to voice. So having someone to talk to, someone like a big brother or a big sister, is really uh, will go a long way to help in our mental health because we battle with a lot of things day in day out at work at home in the sport itself there's anxiety there's a lot of stress there's things that you um that the federations that knock expect us to achieve so we battle through a lot so having chiromo on board is a plus plus for us athletes and also our coaches and everyone else involved what i can say is i'm grateful for knock for putting this together because now i understand the ecosystem that surrounds an athlete and top on the list are the top on the list top on the list are the athletes commission and uh, I've just come to realize that there's a whole support system uh, that's responsible for taking care of an, ath uh, of an athlete uh, so we have a place where we can voice our concerns and be listened to we have uh, somebody who can really take good care of us and you know as an athlete uh, there's so much that goes on in our life and uh, and most of most of what we experience needs some attention so with that in place thanks to knock for letting us know about it we know where to go to uh, when, it, when we uh, we are dealing with athletes because uh, there's a lot there's a lot of uh, abuse that uh, you know, take take place when we athletes we are preparing for competition, and we we at this point we understand what uh, what constitutes an abuse and uh, how to deal with it, to speak up, not to keep quiet. That was very very helpful. Uh, we've also um, been informed about the importance of mental health, and um, you know where to go to if one gets to you know experience that 
or one you know suffers from it that was very very uh, important and then lastly uh, you know branding as an athlete we we are brands and how can we be able to build that on a, on a personal level as we do our day-to-day -day, um, you know training day-to-day -day activities how can we go about that so that was very 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 important so I think the two days has been has been something that uh, you know I can go back and share with uh, my basketball family and uh, you know something that we can appreciate but I think the most important thing will be following up just to find out um, you know are the things that we've talked about are they really you know being uh, being implemented at you know at, 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 the, at the normal level so that uh, you know we can be able to say uh, all these things that we've learned all these things that we are talking about are actually taking place back 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 within our sports the workshop I'll take home the benefits of knowing about athletes commission as a federation we had not known about it that's something new we've learned and also about athletics 365 we'll also take home about personal finance management through that we, I'll be able to teach my peers how to make financial decisions, wise financial decisions, so that when they transit from their careers, they'll not be able to be stagnant or you find them like stranded after finishing their careers. And then from there, I've also learned that we have a voice, we as athletes, we can raise our voices in regards to safeguarding issues. We, yeah, we today I've known like we have a platform where we can raise our issues and say, speak out without being victimized or any fear and also learned about being a brand, how I can keep myself as a brand in the sports field, how to remain relevant even after transiting from the sports avenues. A positive step, and we really appreciate the efforts they have made to ensure that we, as the athletes, have the somewhere where we can have our mental check, because most of athletes, they are suffering. Even some who have transited, most of them you'll find they suffer from depression, but they have nowhere to run to. And we really appreciate the NOC for taking that initiative and ensuring that we have somewhere where we can go and have a free mental checkup. Because maybe someone is suffering and they have nowhere to raise their concern about their mental issues. First of all, I feel uh, humbled because it's an opportunity I didn't expect. And through that, I've been able to meet people I've just been watching on television, like Humphrey. I have really wished to meet him one day and I'm privileged to meet him today. Through him, I'm inspired to make something out of my life. Like he said about the Athletes Commission where they need like other members. It's a platform I really aspire to be in so that I can also help to mentor other people towards sports and help other people who are feeling victimized to raise their voices against any abuses or to safeguard their rights as athletes. Today course, I've learned a lot of things. Uh, I have been able to understand many of things that I didn't know before and now I have a clear picture on how to tackle certain issues concerning my training, competition and for myself preparing to go to represent Kenya outside. The topics that caught me and I really was looking forward for that is mental awareness because this is something I'm also a victim of that. So I was able to understand and get knowledge on how to overcome and when I find myself at a certain situation, how will I conduct myself and how will I behave myself or what will I do to overcome the situation progressing to the higher levels which will be bad for my performance. Like for, for example, when you have a competition a day before, it's hard for you to sleep. It's very, very hard. Why? Because you are, the anxiety is high. You are worried how the competition will be. But from the course, I'm, I was able to understand that I just need to relax. I just need to be calm and visualize the event after and not put stress on how the process will be. Because that will bring more and more anxiety, which will cause me not sleep well, which will affect my performance. Nok is first of all I would like to congratulate Nok 
for the good work they are doing. I was there was a previous course they did. I participated in that and it opened my eyes. Like also to mention on the part of financial finances. That thing I didn't know how to go about it. So I was able to understand from the previous event and I opened a funding an investment plan where I'll be able to invest even if my career as a cyclist racing professional is over, I'll be able to have something that I'll fall back to and I'll be a person re re respected in the society. So I would like to encourage them and it's, we, I loved it on my place, I really loved it and I'm still looking forward to learn more from them because you never get tired of learning new things and the more you learn, the more knowledge you gain. Oh, um, I've learned, actually to be honest, I've learned a lot. Um, most importantly, I've learned the, I would say, the most important lesson is to stay relevant or rather be indispensable um, after sports. And I'm actually glad that my federation was able to nominate me for this sport or rather for my name. And um, for Humphrey, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to Humphrey for um, the information he shared about the uh, at least 365. The, um, the, the topics that are there, I think and I believe would really help uh, most of the athletes that I come across in weightlifting. Yeah, you know, that's for them to like improve their, their life after sports. Because most of them, um, actually in athletes in general, they disappear after the career in sports. So I think it's such a, it's a big move for us. Yeah. I'm a big fan of mental health. Um, and uh, I'm actually, I was actually hoping that there would be like a course. <laughs> I would really like to know how the mind works because I do weightlifting and it takes a lot of mental strength to actually go to a platform and decide to make a lift and you're thinking, oh my God, what if, what if it doesn't work? So yes, I'm very grateful that we have that and we'd be able to see them at a, at a yeah, you said free, right? Yes, or subsidized rate, but yeah, whichever. I mean, I'm grateful for that opportunity because a lot affects our, our, our health, not only um, salary, employment, relationship. There's also a lot of uh, mental, uh, mental health issues that we go through uh, from our childhood. Yeah.